Tony Robinson loved to dance. At six foot four, he towered over his friends and his mom. He liked to pick me up and he, he drove me crazy. What, you know, he was my gentle giant. He was just a, he was a great kid. Robinson was shot and killed by a Madison police officer last month at his house. Police say he assaulted the officer, but authorities are investigating. Where are we fighting? Justice! Maria Hamilton knows Andrea Irwin's pain all too well. She lost her son, Dontre, to a Milwaukee police shooting last April in a downtown park. It's like I had, I had surgery, and you know how when you start to heal, and then it get, you might bump it or something, and it reopens back up. It's like that every month. So Hamilton started a support group for women in similar situations called Mothers for Justice United, with Irwin at her side. I feel that the job of the mothers is to let them know that. I know that the feeling isn't going away, but we need to find things in our life that will fill that, fill that hole. Like Hamilton, Irwin has found comfort in attending rallies. I am extremely overwhelmed with all the love and support that is being given to me in the name of my son. Hamilton is now organizing a Million Moms March on Mother's Day weekend in Washington for those who've lost loved ones in police encounters. The parents of Michael Brown, who was killed by a Ferguson police officer, also plan to attend. We need for our president to be concerned. Irwin plans to start a support group chapter in her city. If I can try to help someone else and just ease their, their burden. But she hopes no more mothers end up joining their sorority. Carrie Andelfinger, Associated Press.